Spook. What is happening where you are? Well, uh, Odessa region itself saw yet another strike on Sunday night. Uh, a missile fired from a Tu-22M bomber left uh, eight injured, uh, including one child. Now, this follows a weekend of uh, strikes, dozens and dozens of missiles being fired at areas across the country, with uh, Russia really seeking to keep the pressure on, uh, on Ukraine. Now, it seems that Vladimir Putin, the Russian president's army, is already doing well. They have now taken uh, Severodonetsk in uh, Luhansk, uh, province and uh, the Ukrainians have uh, what they've uh, referred to it Korea done a tactical withdrawal back to the sister city of Lysychansk on the other side of the river to the west from there. Now, the war in that part of the country is still grinding on with Russia seemingly uh, happy to pay the price in, uh, in lost lives for its, uh, for its painfully slow advance, uh, really scraping away at the front lines. Now, while it is relatively calmer here in the south, in uh, Odessa itself, over the course of the war, the city has taken in a number of uh, displaced people. Uh, now, there has been a difference from uh, what we saw a month and a half ago when I was last in this city. At the time, there were uh, almost packed to the rafters with people coming uh, from across the country who were mo mostly moving on to the western safer areas. What has happened now is that there are, f uh, there are still people in Odessa region, but uh, fewer than there were before. Those in transit, they aren't registered, but it's now uh, the city authorities have told me that there are still 85,000 uh, 85, people in the region, uh, with most of them coming from occupied Kherson and uh, the city of Mykolaiv uh, a little further to the west. Now, the city itself is facing other problems. Uh, it's the main gateway for Ukrainian exports. Now, there are well over 20 million tons of grain that have been blocked from being exported through Odessa's port. The Russian Navy still controls the Black Sea, and there's been no uh, a kind of agreement on being able to, to get that out, leading to a looming food crisis globally. Now, the question is how long Russia is going to be able to keep up its pressure. Uh, we've seen this news that uh, as of Monday, Russia now may well be in default uh, on top of the fact that the G7 is seeking to cap uh, the price of Russian oils. The hope there is that it may well take this, uh, the wind out of this, uh, the sails. However, oil, with oil prices already high, uh, Russia is able to, uh, to keep its war machine afloat since it's still making an awful lot despite all of the other sanctions under which it's currently laboring. Now, uh, as lo the question that uh, many in Ukraine are asking is when these new moves might have uh, some kind of effect, and uh, are they going to be enough uh, for Ukraine to hold out? Luke Schrego, thank you very much for that update. Luke reporting there from Odessa.